Hi everyone and happy Monday. We have a planner page to do today from Magical Jungle. So we have this sort of um, circular design with a toucan and some flowers and lots of leaves. Now I know some people find so many leaves quite rather daunting and it's actually um, I find this page daunting because I've seen Chris Cheng's version which is amazing. Um, so I'm thinking, I haven't tried it actually, but I'm thinking what do I do with this page myself? But I think if we do a few of the elements and get started, then it would all become a bit easier. Now I'm in the mood for sort of autumnal pictures, but I'm not really sure um, whether it will work on this page. You know, we've got flowers and leaves and things. So flowers I don't really associate so much with autumn as autumn leaf leaf colours. So I think we'll um ooh, that's a lot of noise. Um I think what we'll do is we'll concentrate on the leaves and actually do them green and then think about what colours to for the flowers. We might just do something more pretty rather than autumnal. Um, so I shall stop talking and get on. I'm using my um, Black Widows today. Um, I, what I thought I would do is just work through the different greens in my Scorpion set and just see where we get to really. Um, I have got my other sets as well so I'll see how I get on but there's a lot of greens in the Scorpion set so I thought it might be nice to just start with those. Let's come in a bit closer and just pick a bit and go for it. Oh. Here we go, is it all hanging? So at the bottom, oh, let's just move, we've got these sort of heart shaped flowers. I'm going to use this um, charcoal green to start with and go for these. Now I'm going to do the stem and this little top bit, just some hard plain colouring really. I say hard, I'm not pressing hard, I'm layering up so we've got quite a lot of colour. I'm going to do the same on each of these. I'm looking as I colour, which is a bit dangerous as I'll be going miles out of the line, to see if there's any more exactly the same as this in this design, but there aren't. What I tend to do is I tend to look for leaves that look the same and colour them in the same way. And that helps because I don't have to be colouring so many different methods and different combinations of colour. So just makes it a little more simple for me. Now this shade of green I find goes very nicely with pink. So I'm going to grab a pink. I know it's a little bit, trying to find the right shade of pink is tricky. Um, I think I'm actually not going to go for pink because we don't have, they're all a little bit pale. I'm going to use this um, burgundy instead. So it's a sort of more red, but it's still got a pinkish tinge to it, which I'm going to do here. I know this is a little odd. It's not how a leaf would look, but I think that's fine. We don't need to be conventional in a magical jungle, so we need to open our minds a little bit, do something a little bit different. I find that hard. I expect I'm not the only one. Doing leaves that aren't either green or autumnal can be tricky. So what I'm also going to do with this, just checking you can see, is put a bit on the tip of each bit like that and spread it up. We're going to really get some colour rather than just green into this particular set of leaves. Now they're quite far away from any florals so Putting some colour in can be quite nice and fun, especially as our toucan, um, which you can't see now, there's, there's his feet, oh, sorry, I made you all blurred, um, he's um, black, um, I always colour him toucan's black anyway, so uh, if we have colour in the leaves then we've got something a little different. Now I've been noticing lately that a lot of people on YouTube have been posting their sort of leaf colour combos using different brands of pencils those are always really useful um, so if you're if you're getting sort of bored of always doing the same combination or you're just a bit stuck and you don't really know what goes together those are useful you can of course experiment yourself which is what I always do I just have a mess around and see what works 
but um, uh, you know you get to know the more you colour you get to know what works so the idea of these is supposed to be they're a bit darker near the tip and fading towards the middle they're a bit scruffy towards the end I'm going to sneeze hold on oh that's better right <laughs> I'm going back to the charcoal green now to uh, finish these off so I'm going to do a harder layer of charcoal green here and then less towards these tips so we sort of blend the two colours together a little bit I mean they're not um, friends in the sense they're not going to blend perfectly but we can just mix them a little bit and I think it just looks a little bit more natural So what I'm trying to do is make it a little bit darker around here and then just start to fade it towards here so we've got both colours overlapping. And then we get a bit of a mix, a bit of a blend. And actually if you look at leaves that are multicoloured, often the two colours are not blended at all. There's a, like here, where I haven't faded the colour very well, there's quite a line of red which I'm going to correct by just putting a little bit of burgundy here you will find that actually in nature there are harsh lines if you look at your autumnal leaves um, those of you that are in the right hemisphere you will see that they don't I remember so they have like a bit of red and a bit of yellow and a bit of orange and a bit of green they're not a mix there's no gradient um, as I was saying I went remember um, they used to, there's a house at the end of my parents' road where they still live now when I used to live there when I was at home, walking home from school and the tr there was some, it's, the trees aren't there anymore beautiful trees that would drop their leaves in the autumn and there would be reds and oranges and yet absolutely gorgeous and I would pick them up and take them home they were so, so pretty I've got no idea what type of tree they were sadly they were beautiful, nicer than any other autumnal tree I've seen since. Um, even nicer than the sort of maples and aces and things like that. They were absolutely amazing because each leaf would have so many different colours in. Now, obviously, with your maples, your aces, you get a beautiful red or a beautiful yellow, orange, whatever it might be. But you don't get this is messy, isn't it? You don't get that. Um, they're all the same or similar colour whereas with these leaves they had so many different colours in they were absolutely gorgeous and uh, I used to pick them up my mum didn't always like me picking things up off the street she'd be worried about what animals had been around and how clean everything was but they were just so pretty I just couldn't help it I had to pick them up and take them home right now I finished that but I think these could probably do with an extra layer of colour. So I'm going to do that quickly. So this is the burgundy. I'm just going to add a little more. I think this first one was better. Yeah, they sort of, um, sort of get a bit more sloppy. I do. I'm not saying you do. Crikey, you probably don't at all. I get a bit more sloppy as I go through. So what I actually try and do is not what I did here. Is when I'm tidying I start the sloppiest so at the far far end and then if my enthusiasm wanes it wanes in the ones that already looked a bit better anyway I don't know if that makes any sense but uh, working my way through now we've got so many different um, leaf combos and things I've actually been making videos I'm going back to the charcoal green to, to tidy up that too I've made, been making quite a few videos um, and I've already scheduled some for this week for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday but what I might do is make this one a series because there's quite a lot isn't there and uh, move those a little bit so you get them a bit later thing is those are Halloween and autumn ones I've got limited time to fit them all in um, Hallow autumn I can obviously oh, I haven't done the red on this one have I autumn I can um, do through um, November as well but Halloween once we come past the 31st that's it really but uh, 
Anyway, we'll see. I'm just going to grab the burgundy again and just tidy up this one. I could do this off camera, but I think it's nice for you to see how it's supposed to look rather than how it looks when I've made a mess. It also helps you see how, if you just do a few extra layers, you can sort of tidy things up a bit, make them look nicer. There we go. It's still not perfect. Nobody ever is. But I'm going to, I'm happy with stopping there. Now this one here, um, it's, I rather like it, just as is. And I'm thinking maybe I'll just do it in a plain colour. So I'm grab my turquoise, which is actually a really different colour to this. I'm going to really mix it up a lot with my greens and do quite a solid colour in that stalk, like that. And then on my leaves, I'm not going to change colour. I'm just going to fade to the tip. It makes it quick and easy to do and fun. So uh, it's just means you don't have to think about matching colours so it's just a different technique really. Now if you don't have many greens in whatever pencils you're using don't forget that you can mix blues and yellows. So if you take your blue base do it quite lightly so that you give leave some tooth in the paper to mix your yellow in with it and add a yellow you'll find I mean you may not want you may want to experiment on some scrap paper first you can make all sorts of different greens um, depending on which yellow you add in with your blue and which blue you use how much yellow and blue you use um, and you can make your own colors it can be quite fun there we go I'm just going to leave that like that really simple for that one now we have oops these these two here now they're joined to this stalk with these leaves I'm tempted to do the whole thing in a similar colour because these leaves and these leaves are all on the same stem. Johanna has a habit of sort of popping everything on one stem and sometimes I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do with that? Because they don't look the same. But we shall have a go and see what we can do. I'm using this um, olive green, which I rather like. Now getting to the point with these, see the name is there. I'm going to sharpen off the name. With the um, old style pencils, which I've got here, the name's at the bottom, so it takes a lot longer before you start sharpening through the name. So uh, you don't have a number. Do you have a number on the bottom? Nothing. Mm. Anyways, let's do this sticky, stalky bit, branch, whatever it is. Stem first with a solid layer. I tend to do that when I'm doing this sort of stalk, I think. Now I like doing them with a bit of shape and putting a darker colour along the edge to make them look more round. It's too small. What I'm going to do with these is similar to the other one where I'm going to fade but I'm going to add another colour in after. But I like doing with these olivey shades is putting a bit of yellow on the end so you'll see now you have to choose the right yellow I feel it doesn't work with a sort of um, lemony color I want a brownie yellow an orange yellow could work too but you have to just think about what's going to match and if you're not sure you get your piece of scrap paper you swatch colors mix them up see what you like and dislike. Now remember, just because a certain colour is supposed to match a certain colour, it doesn't mean to say you're going to like it or what or you may or that you're going to dislike one that doesn't match. So it's your picture, your taste, so have a little play. And it's always good if you're not confident to do it on some scrap paper because obviously if it all goes horribly wrong um and you dislike it, it's not always easy to erase pencil or go over it. It depends, you know. And if you're doing pen, even more so. So now I've done that, I'm just going to make sure that I've gone quite dark enough in the bottom because I want to see a contrast between the amount of green I've put at the bottom and the tip. And I was chattering away, not really noticing what I was doing, which is very normal for me. <laughs> so I say to my family, oh, I can't record anymore run out of things to say and they look at me as if I'm bonkers what how have you stopped talking talk all the time 
I don't talk much in the evenings, to be fair. I get tired. My voice cracks a bit. I think I'm going to do this a little bit the same as well. They look really similar. And it's I quite like... Um, just checking you're in shot, which you are. I quite like the idea of having little batches of uh, of sort of one colour being used. And although they don't match, I think that's fine. We're in the jungle. Plants don't grow to match. I'm just choosing um, which yellow. In the scorpion set, we've got a yellow sand and a pastel lemon. Now, as I said, I don't think a lemon is going to work. Even though that lemon looks very orangey. If you see, this one's quite browny. So I'm going to use this one, the yellow sand. And I'm just going to start at the tip of each. Put down some colour. It's quite pale, which is what I was expecting. Uh, but it just warms and brightens. And I'm just taking it down to about halfway down the leaf, just what looks right to me. Like that. I um I sort of feel I should do something a bit more autumny, but as I say in the jungle, I don't do they have deciduous trees? Do they have the sort of seasons? We don't get jungles in the UK where we have seasons. I always associate them with hot places, but I might be completely wrong now. On these little ones, the transition between yellow and green is not very nice. It's very liney, liney. It's very sudden. I'm going to grab the olive green and just try and make that look a little more gentle just by adding some along that line. Um, I, as I was saying before, leaves don't always do that, but I want mine to look a little better. There we go. So there's our next set. Now, how are we doing for time? Well, we've got quite a lot of time still. Let's do the bit the toucan's sitting on. It's more of a brown branch. I'm going to do it in a brown. Um, what do we have? We have a, a... Oh, that one I know. It's, let's do it in the dark chocolate because the bug, brown bug is a little bit red for what I'm looking for. So, the dark chocolate brown. And uh, I'm going to do a lightish layer like that and then make it a little bit darker at the bottom try and fade it up a bit it's not too easy with such a small space my eyes are going all squinty trying to see but I'm doing my best so what I'm trying to do is layer it here by going over it a few times and then less as we go up and then it looks a bit like oops the <laughs> Sun is catching the top of the branch. I went miles out the line there where it broke. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to try and erase it because it's quite a dark colour. I haven't decided how we do up here. Let's just do it lightly up here. It's quite difficult as this branch gets thinner to make it darker at the bottom. Doing my best. There we go. And what I'm going to do with these leaves is put a bit of brown on the bottom and then fade it. Like that. All the way through. All of the leaves. I'm thinking about what I want for lunch when I'm colouring. <laughs> Who else does that? <laughs> It's uh, having no kitchen. It doesn't, we've got, actually, lunchtime doesn't make a lot of difference. Don't normally have a cooked lunch, even on a Sunday, which it is today. They don't have a cooked lunch. We, uh, unless we um, are out. My parents and my father-in-law always will. Um, I'm trying to find a colour to go with this now, um, a green. I'm just looking through what I've got left. I have got green grass, I think, is going to be the best one. Um, so we've got some nice farmer's market bread. Delish. It's only quarter past eleven. Um, <laughs> green grass. So what I'm going to do here is similar to what I did with the other um, ones. The darker here 
and then fade down into the brown. I'm going to take it quite slowly to get that transition working. I can never remember the precise colours of the toucan because he usually has some white and some brown, black. So I'm not going to do him in this video because I can't remember. I'm going to look up what he looks like first. We'll just do leaves, I think, in this one. It's just another different way to do them. I think it's okay. Now, we have this bunch of long leaves here. That one's slightly out of shot, but you can just about... Oh. Oh, there we go, see them here. That's better. So I tend to do all these the same. Um, I'm looking for a different combo of colour. Now, some of them have got these sort of lines on. We could do these lines in a different darker colour, or we could just ignore them and do them all in the same colour. Um... I think I'm going to go for the Irish green on these. Let's just sharpen up. There we go, Irish green. And I'm just going to make a start and see where my pencil takes me. So, do these stems. I find it quite fun sometimes just relaxing into the colouring and not really planning too much particularly if it's a picture that I find daunting I just find a little area that um, that I really like um, or that I have can easily choose colours for and just start and then see what happens I'm going to fade this I don't know what I'm going to do with the top what colour I might do it I'm just going to fade it down a bit. Might do it, um, I've got tans and honeycomb and things like that. I'm going to take the green all the way to the tip, but a lot lighter. So I'm just going to try and get a nice sort of even transition as we sort of fade the green to the tip. Now here, this one, I'm quite close to the tip anyway. We'll do a bit darker here where it touches the other leaves. It's also a bit further back so it might be a bit darker. Keep that tip fairly light though. Nice light bit there. Darker down here. So sometimes it, you can see I'm going back over a little bit. It can make a big difference. I know when I was a beginner, I would just do one layer of colour on something. I wouldn't think of going back and just making it a little bit darker or filling in those messy bits or anything. I would just put it down and finish. So uh, it's just a little thing you sort of learn that you can go back and just do a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily take that long and it can make a huge difference. Depends what you're doing. So here, look, got a line there. Can you see where this is dark and this is light? So if I make this bit even darker, I just carry that colour up a bit more, I can more easily fade it down like that. Now, I'm just thinking what I can do. I'm going to try this going to experiment. This is called tanned. It's a slightly orangey brown. I'm going to use this. I don't know how well it's going to go with this sort of greeny colour. I'm going to put it on a bit harder near the tip and less as I go down the leaf. It's quite difficult actually to apply. It's not mixing very well with the green I have to say. Maybe not the best choice still persevere now. I think it's because it's quite pale. It's not really showing up. But uh, started now. 
you might want to go for um, maybe the um, dark the um, dark tan might be slightly better choice anyway just do this one I'm gonna go back and add another layer Each one. And this is going to be where I stop for today. And I'm going to come back and do some more. So I think um, I think it'd be fun to uh, continue. And um, I'm sure you'll want to see a bit more. But that's me so far or with the scorpion black widow i may um use some different ones um next time um a different set to get more colors or i might just play around with color combos in this set i haven't really thought it through yet but that is it for now so thank you for watching um i hope you have an enjoyable monday and uh, pop back in tomorrow to see the next installment um, oh, and if you subscribe and click your bell for notifications, you'll get a notification when the video is ready for you. So that could be handy. But thank you for watching. Um, have a good day and happy colouring.